Hey guys, Max here. This video is going to be a two-parter. We tested about 35 different things on the Twitch stream this weekend, and the stream lasted about four hours, and I was able to cut down the footage to about 40 minutes, but I still feel like that might be a little bit too long of a video for a channel my size. I'm still kind of growing. So I broke up the video into two separate videos that are about 20 minutes long. Um, a couple things on both of them, spoilers, obviously for all of lash lines, we go, we go all over the place and check everything out. And two, uh, there are a couple of things that I couldn't get right. Um, they're like my mic and my camera with the green screen, things like that. So you might see a couple things. I think the first part of the first video might be fuzzy for about a minute or two. Uh, so just, uh, keep that in mind. I I'm still kind of learning the settings for this stuff. So be patient with me on that, but yeah, check, check out both videos and I hope you enjoy. I set up basically everything that we have in the game right now right it's got a throne a hearth the dragon bed uh this mist hair rug uh this table was one of the two better tables an iron stand a hot tub a hot tub and a banner uh and basically the total comfort is 16. they added an ash bed uh ashwood bed a straw which is like a, a rug uh, an ask fin which is another rug uh, and then a bone throne. Let's just do the bed first. So the bed is giving us two, the dragon bed. So this should drop us down to 14. Yep, dropped us down to 14. Now we're gonna build the ash bed. Uh, if I could find it. Furniture, bedge, ashwood bed. All right, so we were at 16. So if we plop this down, we go to 15. <laughs> wow, okay. Uh, so I guess the, the new bed is worse than the dragon bed. It's kind of interesting. Um, it looks kind of cool, I guess, with the uh, different types of blankets and stuff like that. And it's a smaller size. Uh, I think the last time we had a smaller size bed was the first bed, wasn't it? Yeah. So I guess it's like a, a better version of the smaller bed, um, which I guess kind of makes sense. We were due for a, a smaller bed for better decoration. But this dragon bed, I guess, is still far superior to it. We're going to do the rugs next. We have straw and askvin. Uh, rugs. So we have the Askin rug. So we're going to take away this uh, hair rug, and that's going to drop us down to 15. And then we're going to drop the Askin rug, see if it goes 15 or 16. Or excuse me, yeah, it's 16. So it gave us one, just like the just like the hair rug. That's the same as the Mislin one. And then let's check out the straw, see if straw pushes us to 17 or not. We're at 15. Ooh, okay. So the two new rugs are the same as the Mislin uh, two rugs. That's interesting. The next one is the Bone Throne. All right, so this uh, marble throne right here gives three. I think the stone gives three also. Uh, I guess the Ashland's bed is the single and ready to mingle bed. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, and then... Let's see, furniture. So we have this bone throne right here. This is what it kind of looks like next to the other one. Uh, but the marble gives three, so if we destroy this, it should bring us down to 13. Yeah, 13 comfort. So we'll put the bone throne down, see what we get. Ooh, back up to 16. Okay, so out of the four different furniture pieces that we're getting for the Ashlands patch, so far, this is recorded on the test branch, so far, um, the two rugs are the same as Mislin's. The uh, bone throne is the same as Mislin's. And then the bed is a smaller version for, I guess, decoration because it's not as strong as the dragon bed, which I think you get in the mountains. Totally forgot about the bloody lava lamp. I'm glad you said that. Uh, here it is. All right, let's see if this... Uh, why am I... Oh, because I moved away from the banner. All right, let's see if this does anything. At least on the lava lamp. Okay, cool. There you go. So you got a lava lamp that gives plus one. Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned that. Thanks, uh, actually, Tim. That's awesome. Uh, let me try the large, let me try the pots. Small green pot. Nothing. What about a medium? Nothing. Large. Ashwood bench. No. I guess this... Uh, this lava lantern 
one flametal, one prusted powder, one sulfur is pretty much the only comfort increase that we're getting. Next up is test frost arrows, silver arrows, frost near, and crystal axe on the Ashland monsters. Okay, so we're gonna try uh, frost arrows out first. So this is a uh, a rank three spine snap, which is the max you, I think you can get from Mislens. Oh, here. I guess this would help. Uh, my bow skill is 70. So if that's helpful. Bow skill 70, rank three, spine snap. And it's doing about 150 damage on the ask fins and it's white damage. So it's not like weak or strong or anything like that. And let's test the spirit arrows. 88 damage, 108. 116. Let's try Spirit on the Morgan. Are you kidding me? <laughs> All right, so it was weak to Pierce, but it does take for about 5.54 damage. The Pierce is about, I think it said 35 for the Silver Arrow. So yeah, it's not... It's not doing a lot of damage. Frost is about the same, but it appears to be a little less damage. Although I think the spine, yeah, the spine does spirit also. So yeah, the frost doesn't have like a damage tick. Uh, it's hit, that hit for 98, but he's strong against the pierce, 81. And then let's check out your crystal battle axe. 28, 55, 29. <coughs> Yeah, it's got a about an eight to nine damage tick, but the the slash is, is not very good. It's like 23, it looks like it's like between 20 and 40. And then let's try Frostnir. This guy might die before I get a good hit. Frostnir was kind of doing work there. Oh yeah, it's like 50 to 100 range. He's uh, burning for about uh, eight. Here's the stats on the Frostnir, I got it rank four. 35 blunt, 58 frost, 20 spirit. That went up to 100. It's about as low as 50, about as high as 115. Yeah, the tick is anywhere from like two to, to 10. 188 on the, or 180, 50. Yeah, it just kind of depends on, uh, I guess it's got a big damage range, but it looks nice. For being an older weapon, uh, the frost near looks uh, pretty, pretty solid. The two handed crystal axe isn't too bad on these guys, but it looks like the Frostnir actually does more damage and it's, it's one-hander. Then let's try the arrows. Yeah, they're strong against the pierce, like 50 damage, but the tick is like six. Yeah, 50, 53. Let's try the Frost arrow on them. That looks like an 84, maybe I got lucky. 99. Okay, so it looks like the, to be honest, the frost arrows, well, I guess it just depends on the, the spirit damage tick of the, of the silver arrow, yeah. Here, let's check out the Mislin sword. Kind of compare the two. The Mislin sword is 100, 117. The burns are about three. Yeah, a little over 100. 126. The frost near is good. What's it? Uh, but I don't think it's as good as the Mislin sword. I might go with the Mistwalker, but the frost, the frost near is not too bad. And then the arrows are kind of, eh, it, it just kind of depends. Somebody wanted me to test uh, the battering ram to see if it did damage to another battering ram. Uh, so we'll test this and I guess we'll just kind of like work it there. So if you don't know how to use a battering ram, you just stick wood in the back, just like this. And I think every punch uses a piece of wood and you can just pull it around like a cart. So you just hook it up like this. Oh, geez. It's already ruining my floor. Let's see if this destroys the, okay, it does. <laughs> you kidding me? So he wanted to know for like PVP reasons. <laughs> Oh my god, okay, well I guess it's gone in two hits. So yeah, battering rams do hit battering rams, uh, and it looks like it's just a couple punches and they're down for the count um, for you PvPers out there. The next guy wanted me to test if I could get a catapult on the ship. Okay, so if you don't know, there's spikes 
on these catapults. If you, ow, if you run into them, geez, it did 29 damage too. These things are dangerous. All right, so we're gonna hook up this catapult and see if it'll go on the ship. Uh, hopefully it doesn't get caught on the ropes. Charge! Ugh. Did it work? Yay! All right, so you can put a catapult on the ship just like this. Uh, be very careful. These spikes, I think they, I think I saw it damage the ship when we got in. And, oh, that's right. He wanted it tested on a Leviathan. All right, here we go. Oh, no, dude, it didn't work. The whole thing, I should have locked its arms down. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, so if you have a catapult on your ship, you gotta lower its legs like this. And then, uh, I mean, this is, this is, this is donezo, but, uh, I don't even know if it would grip into it. This thing is going into the drink. <laughs> uh, I don't, I don't think it's going to be effective, uh, to the person that asked if you're watching, just because you can maybe have two catapults on this. And if it hits like this one and this one, you're not going to be able to get to the rest, right? My opinion would be um, <clears throat> early game, just try to hunt as many down as you can. But later game, uh, use the queen's power, I think it is, uh, that gives you like stronger pickaxe power or something like that. Um, or maybe a power that gives you more stamina, like the, um, the uh, antler boss, the stag. Uh, so you can like run more. And use the strongest pickaxe you can. You can, but I don't think a catapult's gonna cover all of this, uh, especially one or two. So let's go back and test another catapult with the different um, bombs and see if they'll actually like launch in them and then explode when they hit. All right, so they wanted me to test these bombs. So we have the ooze bomb, the bile bomb. I guess we could try to see if a basalt will go in there too. Uh, though they're primarily used for the platforms. And then a smoke bomb. We're going to test all these. Let's try the basalt bomb, I guess, first. <laughs> it just lands on the ground. It just lays there as an item. It doesn't even do anything. I mean, it, it probably doesn't do anything unless it's fire, I guess. All right, this is the bile bomb. It just landed here as an item. I guess if you want to send something to another friend's base and you, he's like, hey, can you pass the salt? And you just like dump it in there and launch it over or something. <laughs> I don't know, dude. All right, let's, uh, let's test the, what is, what is this one? The ooze one? I don't think this one's going to blow up when it fires. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It doesn't. One in the same, right? Yeah, package delivery, exactly. And then this is the smoke bomb. God, I wish this one would work. I hope it does. Come on, blow up, blow up, blow up. Okay, yeah. So all of these bombs right here, they do not explode on impact when you launch them in a catapult. Silver sword versus Mistwalker Walker sword. 73 sword level. And I got a rank four silver sword, which is pretty much from like the mountain biome. Uh, and then a rank three Miss Walker, Walker would, uh, I think that's the highest uh, you can get. Yeah, 80. That's a crit. 67, 70, 70. So I'd say anywhere from like 60 to 90, depending on your sword skill. And then the dot that it's doing, uh, that was a crit, so that doesn't count. Is it snapshotted? No. Oh, there it is. Uh, the dot is around 10, maybe. Okay, cool. Uh, 120 on the swing. 96, 112, 109, and the dot is around two, three, four. I think the Miss Walker sword is a little better. Uh, test heat and fire resist difference and the potions. Oh, the Fenris set. Okay, I got you covered. Uh, so this Fenris set gives resistance to fire. So we're gonna test this like in the lava and in the red uh, ocean. And where's my other, here it is. All right, so and I had a fire. There we go, fire potion. Okay, so what we're gonna test? We're gonna go to Ashland's, and we're gonna test this Fenrir fire resist set. Uh, we're gonna test how much damage we take without uh, anything on, and then with this set on, and then we're gonna test how much damage we take with um, the flametal breastplate, 
and the shoes. And then when we're done with that, we'll probably test with these two items and the Fenris hood because the Flametal helmet doesn't give any resist. So we'll test the two heat resistance and the one fire, and then we'll test all three fire. We'll test just the two heat, and then we'll test everything with the fire resist uh, barley on. And we'll do that for the lava, and we'll do that for the uh, red ocean. Just need to see if the lava will flow if you like kind of dig right here and then just kind of break the terrain, is it going to flow in here or is it just attached to the terrain? Yeah, it's just attached to the terrain. I think you're right. Um, uh, luckless burrito. It's not flowing in here. All right, let's test uh, this armor. All right, so without armor on, with no fire resist, and I'm not wearing a feather cape, if I step in this, I take 60 damage, okay? And it hurts. Now let's put on the Fenris set. And I had just the, the carapace set from Miss Lens in that last one. All right, so this, I take 60 damage as well. It looks like the Fenris set just doesn't, give good fire resist or maybe it's just not good fire resist for lava each piece the breastplate and the uh, greaves from the full metal pieces each piece lowers the lava damage by 12. okay all right so we're gonna drink a fire resist potion now let's see what we do this is just no armor on okay fire resist potion didn't do anything we're still taking 60 percent damage on that lava uh so now we are in the red sea actually hold on the hell let's time this okay so <laughs> you have five six seconds tops before this stuff starts to tank and then we'll put the fenris set on see if this does any protection for the red sea i'm pretty sure the fire resist potion doesn't either uh because when i did that uh, video for sailing into the ashlands I saw my health drop by 10. Yeah, it's, it's, the Fender set doesn't protect you at all in the Red Ocean. This is the Flametal, Breastplate and Greaves in the ocean, or the Red Ocean. It's it's going way long. There it is. It was about 10 seconds. Okay, so the Flametal pieces give you a, basically about double the amount of swim time, and it reduces the damage by four, but the damage reduction is kind of irrelevant, right? Like, look how, look at the sixes just, coming up on the screen so it, it that doesn't matter these pillars will last in the lava so if i were to build like this brick see how the brick has like these red veins in it that means it's too close to the lava and it's inevitably gonna break oh wow okay so it just took a while to break that must have been like 30 seconds or something like that yeah, breaks. You're going to need a beam under every single one of them. So I guess if you really wanted to build a bridge, and maybe I'm using the wrong material. I figured black marble was the strongest. I guess the real answer is this. That that stuff took forever. Maybe it was the bug in the test branch. I don't know. But it looks like five or four connectors is the max. I'm just worried about their health. Like, uh, eventually, a fireball is going to come up and hit these things underneath, right? I don't know if there's a way to to stop that i don't see like right there like just they just launch up like if this bridge was going like it would have just nailed it um and i'm sure the the iron wood beams probably have a limited amount of hits before they'll drop uh i, I have no idea what the health is on the full metal i would imagine it, it's inevitable because i think the flint metal was well maybe the fluid wasn't taking damage maybe it was just the bricks i don't know that's something to test Oh, when you were out here. Oh, there you go. Uh, yeah, it hit the flametal for 30 because it hit the um, the brick for, for 130. So you could build across this, but I don't think it's going to stay forever because eventually these flametal bars, you know, let's say they got 30,000 health, you know, they'll take a bunch of hits or something, but it, it's taking damage. And so eventually those fireballs are just going to overwhelm it over time. Um, but it, it's probably good for something temporary. Um, it's the public test branch though. Maybe they'll look at it again. I, I don't know if they'll, they'll see this feedback or maybe there's a, a feedback thing that they have on their forms or something. Um, but that's how you build over the lava just like that. 
Okay, so now we are going to test the troll stave um, on these stone pillar towers and the planes. See if it kind of wrecks the tower for us and helps us farm a little bit. Whoa, dude! Okay, it was only one meteor. Holy cow, did you see that? Oh man, let's go test another one. Holy cow, he just leveled that thing. All right, so we had to kill the two previous trolls because it wouldn't let me cast another one, so we'll try it here. <laughs> That's going on the thumbnail. <laughs> That's so cool, dude. All right, very cool. Now we're gonna test uh, a blood staff on a flametal tower. Eh, not very impressive. Those things were very uh, strong against it. He only hit him for 150. And that wraps up video one. Make sure you check out the description below for the link for video two uh, for more of the fun that we had on stream, uh, testing out all of the uh, things that you wanted to try out. If you feel like I deserve it, hit the like button down below, subscribe to the channel for more Valheim content, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.